taking off like a Boeing. If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade. Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid. Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused. We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus. It's all about the price, just watch it move. Manage your risks so you don't lose. First hour of trading is all we need. Focus on the patience and forget about greed. What is up, everyone? Happy Thursday, October 24th, 2024. We've got a little bit of mixed bag today. We've got the Dow futures down 71, NASDAQ futures up 152, SP futures up 22, Tesla up over 14.5% after earnings yesterday. VIX is down, so no one DTE for me today. Morning, El Piero. Morning, JG. Hopefully, we can get a little, a little more uh, subtle price action today. Yesterday was a good learning day for a lot of people. Interesting to see if the market gets any type of follow through to the downside here. I'm sure some of this bounce has to do with Tesla. Something I'm just going to really be careful of from here till the election with all the election uncertainty is just really be careful about your position sizing. It's obviously something that we always need to be aware of, especially in times like this, though. There is the bell. Yeah, I don't know about that, Ken. There is there is somewhat luck involved when you're closing out your longs. I've missed it a lot of times where I could have been profitable, closed them too soon. Yeah, yesterday was I thought I was heading for a pretty sizable red day on just two losing trades. See what kind of spread we get here in terms of SPX. And a little better than the last few days. But S&P coming down. Again, no one DTE for me today. With the VIX being down, it is coming up. You know, like yesterday, because with it being, you know, what the what the price action was doing, like you know, I talked about position sizing. I didn't even open my small my small Tasty Works account. Like I didn't even open it. I was like, this is just too low of premiums, too many 
10 point drops in five minutes. Just, I didn't, yeah, didn't even, didn't even open it. This will be my last morning live stream for a while. Tomorrow morning, I leave for Montana. And we'll be out there all next week to Halloween. Fly back on Halloween. Um, might be able to join some afternoon live streams. Um, as we're, we'll be chasing elk. But uh, we're in over lunch. Try to trade last hour of the day next week. But uh, most likely won't be trading many TLC trades next week because it'll be out in the sticks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Elk is great. I'll actually just be running a camera. My buddy's the one that's got uh, the, the tag. But when you get invited to go along to come to their ranch, they have a really nice ranch up in Montana. Yeah. You jump on the opportunity and recharge the batteries. And when I get back, it'll be a little sporadic trading in November, too, because that's when the deer season is here in Missouri. And if you uh, see my screen there, that's something else I do quite a bit. So that that November's uh, be a little bit lighter trading for me as well. In our second bar here. Yeah, that's right. There is uh, a couple things. I remember. Thanks for the reminder there, Krish. Uh, yeah, S and P flash U.S. services PMI, and then manufacturing PMI, and then new home sales at nine.
All right, so we're looking for some bigger volume here. Not seeing anything at the moment. Tesla's still firing up. Doesn't look like anything's going to get there. So we'll be patient. I've got to, I'm going to have to restart my thinkorswim. Something's going on with it. I left it on overnight. Without closing it out. Yeah, I got on last night. I was looking at the Tesla earnings results there and just forgot to shut it down. I did contact uh, a couple weeks ago. I put in a support to get my commissions lowered. They're currently at 50 cents. And hadn't heard anything. Checked them yesterday. Still 50 cents. Asked them what the deal was. And they said, hey, it's that's good enough discount. You don't need any lower than 50 cents. And I was like, unreal. Schwab, I tell you, since that switch over. There we go. All right. Looking for some mighty 90s.
Morning Lucky. So not much shaking so far. Yeah, but I, I don't really ever, that data doesn't, I mean, I know it can affect it a little bit, but it, I've never really not traded because of it. A lot of stair stepping down in volume. See that stair step down, Tesla, NVIDIA. Probably won't take trade Tesla because of earnings. I just usually don't. Usually don't trade a stock the day of or the day after earnings. Some P looking like it wants to come down some more. Got some S and P falling here. Dow the down down one fifty four. VIX highs of day. Will we get another flush? VIX was flirting with going positive. Uh, no, I don't do Rick's lucky. They always interfere with my TLC trades. So no volume bars. Oh, Roku getting a volume bar. Big volume bar to the downside. Roku's options have been a little iffy. Today we trade the one DTE. About 20 cents wide. A 
lot of stair stepping down in volume. Not good for volume runners or mighty 90s. Man, I'm not sure I even want to touch Roku with 20 cents wide. The range is really tight, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on Roku. Man, Roku's been a bummer lately. It's just because he used to trade it all the time. NVIDIA potential mighty 90. Apple potential mighty 90. See, NVIDIA, I would trade the 139 calls. Trying to get filled at 205. Try to jump in here. Don't you leave me. I got to order a 215 in NVIDIA. Oh, man. Come back down, please. So close. Yeah, Apple and NVIDIA, bummer. Also came down to a key level yesterday's close. I, I tried to jump in as quickly as I could. Yeah, I'd be out of half I'd, I'd be out of half already. So canceling my NVIDIA. Bummer. Tesla through highs of day. It's a good example of a mighty 90, though. You can get filled down at the bottom of that price push. And if it comes back down, I'll, I'll, look, to, I'll look to get in, but it's going to have to come down. Yeah, both Apple or NVIDIA would have been great. Did anybody get in on NVIDIA? Or Apple? Yeah. 216, not bad. Yeah, I, I had an order at 215. Never got filled. Apple would have been a really, really good one, too. Both of those are good examples of coming down to, you know, Apple came down to lows of day and NVIDIA came down to a key level. So that can really teach you where you want to get in at. 220 missed it. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to chase it past 215. It really moved quick once it hit that. Yesterday, once it hit this red line here, yesterday's low uh, close, it it really popped up quick. I was just about 
15, 20 seconds too late. On a day where you, you know, when you're limited, when there isn't a lot of opportunities, you hate to miss them like that. Amazon coming down. A little, little two-way action going on. Uh, Baba actually had a mighty 90 long, not a volume runner there. Cass Wheeze, Wheezy. If Baba comes down to lows of day here. Yeah, I mean, look at look at Baba next to Nvidia on my screen. See, Baba, I would trade the ninety six calls. Trying to jump in at a dollar six. Build at one oh six. And Baba. I would get out of half my Baba at a dollar twenty. Yep. Thanks for the heads up, even though um yeah, that I had it wrong. That definitely put it on my radar though. So nice job. So we'll look for two consecutive green bars out of Baba. The range is pretty tight. That's the only thing that worries me. And with one DTE, you can really start feeling theta decay if, you, if it drags out.
Boeing going through highs of day, making a mighty 90 short. Have to watch it. Man, Boeing's got a wide bid ask. Oh, thank you. Apple trying to give two green bars, NVIDIA not so much. Yeah, Boeing, 155 puts aren't awful. Let's see if I can get filled at a buck 85 in Boeing on the 155 puts. Filled at a buck 80. Wow, that was weird. I guess that's good. I would close half my Boeing at two bucks. Baba going against me? So Baba, I decide if I want to add or not. Original fill was one oh six. Was trying to add at ninety five cents. Filled at two hundred three to close half my Boeing. I have another Boeing at 225. Filled at 230. Oh, nice drop in Boeing. Wow. I'm not going to add in Baba. It's popped up. Get out of another Boeing at 250. That's some coming up. Oh, I need to put my order back in in um, Baba. So.
Build at 258 to close another Boeing. Wow, nice drop in Boeing. Get out of another Boeing at 280. S&P trying to come up to about where it opened. So looking for two consecutive red bars out of Boeing, two consecutive green bars out of Baba. Man, that Apple and NVIDIA Mighty 90s would have been really nice. Netflix getting a Mighty 90 short. Wow. Pretty wide bit of asking Netflix today. What is going on? I did, or Baba getting another mighty 90. So need a bounce out of Baidu here. Or I mean, Baba, I'm sorry. Yeah, passing on Netflix, unless it pushes back up and tightens its strikes up a little bit. Baba, or I'm sorry, Boeing came down to this key level. Yesterday's low, let me put, uh, let's see. If it bounces off yesterday's low, I might, I might just close it. It's definitely a key level. I've got a good profit in it. You can see right here this yellow line. All right, Netflix. I'm going to try to jump in here. It's tightening up a little bit on the 750. Puts. Build at 455 in Netflix. For a mighty 90 short. Build at 280 to close another Boeing. I would close half my Netflix at five bucks. Get out of another Boeing at three bucks. Say what? I'm going to go ahead. I only have two contracts left in Boeing. I'm just going to close it. It's getting a second red bar here.
Go to 277 to close Boeing. It's a nice mighty 90 there. Bob is starting to push up for me. It's too bad I couldn't have added. Netflix hasn't really gone anywhere. There's your bounce, Lucky. But because it's such a tight range, it's just not paying out. So it needs to move more to pay out. That's why I sometimes shy away from them if there's a tight range. Especially with one DTE. They can really hit you on theta decay. So if I don't get a second green bar out of Baba here, I'll probably just close it. So I'll give it five more minutes. I'm not going to sit here and let it chop and just lose money on theta decay. So short Netflix, long Baba. Boeing's still coming down. Could have got a little bit more out of it with my two contracts. It's all right. VIX just pretty much chopping. Netflix trying to continue up. I don't like what I'm seeing out of Baba. I'm just going to close it. It's just not going anywhere. I shouldn't have shouldn't have taken it. Look, those tight ranges, they just they just don't pay out. No, I can't get out of it. Gosh, dang. Yeah, I don't I don't trade Baba much anymore. It's just it's got tight ranges. <clears throat> small built at 93 cents. It's got small uh you, you never get more than about a buck or, or less, which I like to always be above a dollar at minimum. Yep, we're in the same mighty 90 there, Steve. Netflix also not going anywhere.
I would add to my Netflix if it pushes up to four bucks. Wind base coming down. All right, Netflix, time to time to come down. Amazon, the highs of day. Roku had that big volume bar to the downside and just hasn't moved. Another good example of not getting any, a stock that is tight on the range. Yeah, no, no, no mighty 90 in Amazon. Pretty choppy. VIX pretty choppy. You can get about a 50 wide iron condor and zero DT right now. But at some point, I think it'll, you know, it'll break out of this. What SPX has been in a range of 15 points. At some point, it's going to break out one way or the other, I'm guessing. Man, Netflix seven hundred and fifty point stock has not moved. It's right about where I got in. Now Netflix starting to come down a little bit. Built at five ten to close half my Netflix. Was another Netflix at five fifty.
Netflix coming down to yesterday's close. See if it goes through it or not. Well, probably not going to get in any more Mighty 90s and Runners. Let's start to focus on TLC here. As S the S&P is not going anywhere. Netflix, give me a second red bar. Baba hasn't popped. It's same price, same place I got in. Probably would be down in the trade due to theta decay. Like popping isn't, that's a two tenths of a point move. That's nothing. Yeah, Netflix just kind of sitting there too. All right, Netflix. Trying to give us another red bar here. It's where I'll get out if it stays red. Build at 550 to close another Netflix. Get out of another Netflix at six bucks or when this bar closes. Amazon through highs of day. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and close out my Netflix. Build at 565. So nice mighty 90 there. So two winners, one loser, and the green for the day. All right, everyone, I'll see everyone back during Power Hour. Have a good one. Peace.